In this video, I'm going to show you a simple little mini scheme that you can use out of the nickel triple formation. I'm going to give you three little mini plays here. You can add this to your arsenal. This is really, really good against Gun Bunch, really good against a lot of formations in this game. Nickel Triple is probably one of my favorite defenses um, in the game to teach. It's very easy to pick up and grasp. So the way we're going to teach you today is a way to use it as a pressure defense, a little bend but don't break coverage defense. And we're also going to have a nice little man-to-man -man coverage to complement everything. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've not picked up our Nickel Triple eBook yet, you can get that by joining my Patreon membership. So today we're going to give you just a little bit of a sneak preview, kind of a simple scheme. We've got a ton more on our Patreon membership page. The other cool part about that Patreon is that by joining it for only $10 a month, you're going to actually get access to all of our Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides so it kind of has not just a triple but we've also got a lot of other stuff in there been doing a lot of stuff uh lately out of the big nickel over g so if you want to check that out you can just click the link in the description of the video so just head down below and click that after the video is over but let's just jump in i'm in the baltimore playbook and really this is this little mini scheme here we're going to set a couple audibles so first audible we're going to set is the cover six that's going to be our primary coverage defense the second audible we're going to set um, is already set for us. It's a nickel blitz. It's going to be our primary man-to-man -man blitz. And then you can kind of do whatever you want in this particular position um, with the cover one or whatever you want to do here. I like cover two man, but whatever blitz or uh, whatever coverage you want to have, you can have it as your primary coverage defense. So if it's cover one linebacker blitz, that's fine. If it's cover, if it's whatever. So whatever you want to put here, I'm going to leave the cover two man. So we have cover two man, nickel blitz two, cover six. And then if you wanted to put a cover three in here, maybe you wanted to put like a, a Mabel coverage um, or a little bit of a different cover shell, you could put the cover three in here or the cover three match is one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to put that in here. And then the, ba the base play uh, for this is the nickel blitz two. Now, the setup for this defense is really, really, really simple. We're going to be using this middle linebacker right here. This is a two high split safety defense. And you're going to notice that when I audible to cover two man, not much changes if I audible to nickel blitz, not much changes if I audible to cover three match, not much changes. And if I audible to cover six, not much changes, especially if I base align my coverage. Okay. So all that to say, back to our nickel blitz two. All we're gonna do to set this defense up is we're going to pinch our defense. The way that you do that is you're gonna hit the R1 button or the RB button, depending on which console you're playing on, and you're going to uh, pinch your defense. You're gonna hit down on the left joystick. You're gonna see that that's gonna pinch your defensive line. It's gonna press your coverage and it's gonna pinch your linebackers all within one adjustment. Then we're just going to crash our defensive line out. That's pretty much it. And then the blitz is set up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand kind of right here and you'll see at the snap of the ball, we're gonna get some really glitchy pass offs and we're gonna typically get either edge or B gap pressure off of that slot corner. So again, real simple setup. Literally it takes two or three clicks and then you're done and you see how good this gap pressure is uh, specifically against Gun Bunch. Now, what I wanna tell you is um, this is a really, really good defense, but when they go to block their running back, I wanna show you one thing you can do with this. So. Um, here they're gonna block their running back. You're gonna notice that for the most part, this will actually still come in at a high degree of consistency. This is one of the real benefits, I think, of this defense is that when they block their running back, you typically still have a pretty good chance of being able to get some good edge pressure. Occasionally, though, you do see that the running back can come over and pick this up. Now, one little pro tip, if you are ever struggling with a running back blocking, especially from Gun Bunch, uh, try containing. And when you contain, a lot of times it makes the blitz better. Better, um, for the block running back as you see right there still able to kind of at least make them feel the pressure but another thing that we can do is just send an additional blitzer so we're gonna actually blitz our linebackers now so the only thing that changes is if we're gonna pinch our defense crash our line out and then we're gonna blitz our linebackers now if you notice here you want to stand just to the inside right here that's gonna help this a lot and you're gonna notice here that the pressure will come in even with a blocked running back every single time very consistent now the other thing that I like about this is if they block a tight end this second blitz will also be effective so here I'm gonna block my tight end and what you're gonna notice is a lot of times this can potentially and I and I say potentially it actually happens about 60% of the time it can potentially be turning into some a gap pressure so I'll show you this real quick here but a lot of times you'll see here um, it's gonna be this edge pressure from the slot corner 
And it's also, please notice that it comes in really fast. If you have a 99 speed slot corner there, that's gonna be really, really, really good uh, for you. Now again, uh, the block tight end is kind of the general way that most people like to try to pick up pressure this year. And as you can see, this blitz combats that. Now, we can also, if we audible to the nickel blitz, we're gonna set it up exactly the same. And you're gonna notice that I'm in man coverage on the running back. So if the running back goes on a route, I need to get out there and cover him. But notice how fast the blitz is gonna come in. We're gonna still get that double edge pressure, um, which is really, really valuable out of this defense. And again, it looks basically the same. It looks kind of very similar to our man or our, to our zone coverage. But we're still getting that pressure, even if they block their tight end or if they block the running back. It, it does not matter. They're going to have to block both. And sometimes it won't always pick this up. So um, here it is again. This is them blocking both. And you see we're still able to kind of at least make them feel the pressure the, the, of the slot corner coming in. So this is one of my favorite defenses in the game. It's really simple to run too, by the way. And again, if they're, if they're max protecting, try QB containing. A lot of times this QB contain will make that guy loop around a little bit better and you'll have a little bit better success in terms of just getting him in um, at the quarterback. So, you know, that's another little trick or a little tactic that you can try uh, for Max Protect. I will say Max Protect is by and large the best way for them to try to pick this up, but it doesn't always pick it up. And notice that Nickel Triple has some of the best sheds in the game. So we have a man blitz, we have a zone blitz, we have a five man and a six man. So if you're running this nickel blitz, one of the things I wanna encourage you to do here is let's say you wanna send this pressure. Well, we're gonna take this linebacker that's in the gap and we're gonna man him up on the running back and then now we don't have to guard the running back in man to man coverage. So what you'll see here is the blitz still works, the same concept still applies. And again, that's how you got that five on five and then that six on five pressure. Now the other thing that we can do off of this is we have a couple different max coverages we can run. We can audible here to the cover three match if we want to, and we can basically shade our coverage down, purple the linebacker in the gap there, and then we're just going to maybe drop a bluff blitz from the linebacker on the outside, and then maybe drop the defensive end on the right side into a curl flat. So you see we've got kind of a double flat, cover three Mabel, you could set zone drops with this if you wanted to, but this is just a way that you can get into a max coverage out of this defense now another thing i do want to uh, talk about real quick is from the nickel blitz we actually have a really good coverage defense built in with this with this as well because the linebacker in the a gap is considered a middle linebacker so you can put him into a middle third we can then take that linebacker on the outside put him into a curl flat and now we have again another one of those cover three mabel type of defenses and we're gonna get really good sheds from our nose tackle here. We're gonna get good sheds from our edge rusher and you see how good this defense can be. So you could create a couple different types of max coverage in addition to this. If you wanted to do this from man coverage, you see here, it looks very similar. Um, and if I was gonna run this from man to man, one of the things that I would wanna go ahead and do is man up that tight end, put, drop a purple zone onto the bunch side. I think that's really helpful. And then from here, we could maybe drop, you know, for example, the, the bluff blitz to the nose tackle on the right. And then, you know, whatever you wanted to do, if you wanted to drop the linebacker on that side into purple, now you've got a max coverage um, in man to man. And cover to man is one of the better ways to play. Again, there, Kevin King on the high got burned that bad, but normally they're gonna play fine. You might wanna shade out, outside and underneath. And then the last piece of this is our match defense. And it all looks the same. So this is cover six. We've got a match coverage. We're just gonna blitz our user. We're going to bluff blitz our nose tackle. That's gonna re-put that three rec hook out there. And then now, as you can see, we can deep half that bunch side guy if we want to have a little bit of extra, um, a little bit of extra help over on that side. And then on this left side, you notice that we have this vertical hook here. One of the things that I like to do is man him up onto the tight end. And then I'll typically drop the defensive linebacker on that side into a vert hook. So you see it kind of looks like this. And now I've got a really good defense for corner routes and just any kind of um, pretty much anything that they do out of bunch. So that is how all of this stuff can fit together. And again, your core blitz though, if you ever want to send pressure, and I recommend sending pressure like probably 60% 60, 60 of the time, 
you have very good quick pressure coming in and you can send it from man you can send it from zone you can send it from match you can send it from anything and they have to max protect to be able to pick it up and to be honest with you it does not always pick up the blitz so you see how good a pressure you're able to get out of this nickel triple very good defense very simple setup and very easy to make adjustments i want to thank you for watching this video and i want to just quickly uh, remind you what i said at the beginning if you want to get the full nickel triple ebook if you think that this is good the stuff in our membership is super super effective if you want to get the entire defensive ebook grab our patreon membership it's only ten dollars to sign up i'm going to put a link in the description of the video and if you want to go sign up for that get all the ebooks all the updates everything over there you get everything for 10 bucks and I, I just want to tell you real quick the people that put the hours in in april may june july august they are going to be the best players come september so if you want to really lock in i think this is right now in my opinion the time that you want to lock in more than ever i personally am doing a ton of work behind the scenes trying to get better at the game trying to learn more um, trying to understand how it all works we've got a really cool series we're going to be doing in our patreon where we're actually going to be going through and looking at comprehensive um comprehensive material over the last several years of the game how nickel normal has been a good defense for a long time how 335 odd has been one of the best defenses for the last four years kind of looking at some in-depth concepts year over year that will continue to apply in madden so if you want to check all that out you get everything by being a patreon member for just ten dollars if you want to sign up for it head on down to the description of the video and click the link that i put down below